uh, what, how did it all start? Just if you don't mind sharing that one story you were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, like uh, I started uh, my uh, junior year of high school and uh, one of the last few days of that year, I was coming home uh, from school, just in my car. I saw this uh, woman uh, who was pulled over. Uh, she had the hood of her car off. Um, I had jumper cables in the back of my car, so I figured I might as well see if I could help out. Um, I pulled over, um, I, we tried to jump our car, but uh, it wasn't working because the battery in my car is not the best. Um, but she, uh, she told me that she was living out of her car at the time. Her window was stuck rolled down and uh, her car battery was dead. And she was trying to go visit her son. Um, and uh, she was just kind of stuck there. And uh, I couldn't jump her car, but she was right next to an auto repair shop. So I went and knocked on the front door and I asked, hey, uh, can I, uh, can you guys help her out? And uh, they were, the people inside the shop were not very receptive or helpful. Uh, they told me that they would not help her specifically because of her situation of living out of her car. So um, that uh, really got to me because it's like she just needs help like they have the jumper cables in the shop like I've seen them before because I've had to use them myself um, like they should just be willing to help her but they instead decided not to so uh, after I went back and I told her what they said we talked for a little bit so then I decided okay I'll just go bug them every like hour or so until uh, they finally, you know, roll over and help out. So uh, around like, it was like three o'clock when I met her. Uh, so around like seven o'clock, um, they were very insistent on not helping out. So uh, around seven o'clock, I finally got the guy to help out since he was just coming off of his shift. And uh, so he came out, literally did in like three seconds and then went back. But it meant the world to her. And um, she was so very, very grateful for that, even though like it was literally no problem. Like it was no struggle whatsoever to do it. But like, it just really got to me the fact that, you know, we as a, like a society just kind of, you know, stigmatize and ostracize uh, people who are on the street or not living in a house and it's very 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 just cruel and strange so I kind of figured um, I start doing something about it so um, I used to do a lot more like making costumes and stuff like that for comic cons and stuff so uh, I put together uh, a couple pieces of what I was working on and then I uh, decided to use this to, you know, attract attention to the issue and kind of force people to look at issues that they don't like to see. Because nobody wants to see people suffering. I understand that, but my whole thing is that, like, if we, you know, ignore problems, nothing gets solved. They just get worse. So we have to look at the things that we don't want to see and look at the people who are suffering in these issues and help them. Because, you know... We can help. Anybody can help. It's not difficult. <laughs>